I guess it all started because no one had made the game that we wanted to play. A game which really captured the spirit of the original movie. Uh, an alien, with an alien that was terrifying, massive. Uh, to make a game based not on action, but on horror and survival. This had to be a horror game. We wanted to create an experience that was terrifying and claustrophobic. A game where you would spend the entire time worrying about where the alien is. Instead of the player cutting down hundreds of aliens, we have them focus on a single creature. And when you meet it, your first reaction should be to back away and just find somewhere to hide. Getting the story right was really important to us. We kept coming back to the question, when the Nostromo went missing, who would go searching for it? And that led us to Amanda Ripley, and if she went looking, what would she find? In Alien Isolation, the player is a normal person in an extraordinary situation. The player isn't equipped with incredible firepower or military hardware, they are isolated, they are vulnerable, and they're just trying to survive moment to moment with whatever they can find in the environment that will give them some kind of edge. We've taken the majority of our cues from the original movie. This kind of lo-fi sci-fi has informed just about every aspect of the art, from the architecture to the character design, um, the materials we're using, uh, visual effects, lighting, everything comes back to this 1970s view of the future. Everything in the game, all the technology, has this kind of mechanical push-button feel to it and that's really important to us. We really wanted to take the series back to its roots. For the players to confront the original Alien. We really wanted to make the Alien game that people have been waiting for.